You know I love a market. I think it's a microcosm of the city itself, if not all of life. And today I have a wonderful chef named Guillermo Salazar with me. Not only did he work at Gramercy Tavern, he worked at 11 Madison Park. I mean, this guy knows his stuff. Most of his stands belong to like really good restaurants. So like the food is great. He's gonna show me his favorite spots around Mercado San Miguel. One of the things he loves is this little fried calamari sandwich. Wow, that was good. I love a sandwich. Mm. I mean, you can't go wrong. Wow! When you bring it to your face, you get the whiff of the garlic and the aioli, and then you hardly know it's fried. When you fry it on a really high temperature, it crisps up, but you don't overcook the seafood. Wow, people! That might be the best seafood sandwich I've ever had in my life. Yeah, it's pretty good. Wow, all right. Uh, I'll do whatever you say now. L let's go. You have me. I could get lost in this place. Wow, beautiful. Look at these skewers. Whoa. Pinchos? And, yeah, pinchos, which is, you know, typical thing yes. from the north. Yes. Oh, this looks very good. Culinary architecture. I have a technique when I'm eating a lot of these things. Just the top. Just the top. I don't bother with the bread. Good. Because we're going to eat a lot. I just need, I need the bread. Do it! It's your funeral, Guillermo. <laughs> I don't know if you really know who you're messing with. <laughs> you can do it. So many good things here. Should we go for the paella? Uh, now we're in Spain. Here well, we are. Actually, the name paella is the, the pan, pan that they make it in. Paella, it turns out, is the name of the pan. So they made in a paella, but they're not in the style of paella, which is like the Valencia region real thing. Uh -huh. Listen, you're going to see paella around Spain, but you have to know that paella comes from Valencia. Like the real deal paella has nails and rabbit. That oh. would be like the, and, and, broad, and broad beans. Really? So today I'm not having paella. It looks like paella. They even call it paella to get American tourists to come over, but I shouldn't call it paella. I'm not. Don't get mad. The key to this is just like a really good stock made with seafood and like fried garlic and, and red peppers. Oh. And they mix it with the stock, which, which gives it the color. Oh, well, that's good. On point as the kids say. Mm -hmm. The Magical Mystery Tour continues. This is the jamón I have at the restaurant. For those of you who don't know, jamón is probably the best ham in the world. Don't write to me, Italians. This is my favorite show. This is the best one. I mean, you can see the marbling, and it's probably cured for three years. And wow. Yeah. The Barrico ham, they're the ones that eat acorns their whole lives, and the giant legs are cured for years. How many years did you train? Five years. Just five that's years. all, only five years. Perfecto. It's crazy how just the leg of a pork can become something so, like, delicate. Like one of the world's great delicacies, right? He did it by knife, and you can still see through it. Look at this! Look how happy this is. It's ground up meat with spices, like you would do a sausage, but then they cure it for like a like good year. Some people like ice cream cones. I like my cones with pork. Who doesn't want to walk around uh, town with a cone like this? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uno que sea super chocolate. Look at this, people. Wow. An insane ice cream sandwich. Gracias. Breakfast of champions. 